Welcome to this video tutorial, which explains why, in the iTaxo Tools project, we recommend curating DNA sequences and associated metadata in the form of spreadsheets for small and medium-sized Sanger sequencing projects. Various tools developed in our project accept input in the form of tab-delimited tables, which can be easily extracted from spreadsheets. Although large genomic datasets can nowadays be used for species delimitation and phylogenomic tree inference, such datasets will not be available for many of the alpha taxonomic research projects that contribute to scientifically describing and naming between 10,000 and 20,000 species of organisms every year. However, single locus sequences are increasingly used in integrative alpha taxonomy. On completion of a typical taxonomic sequencing project, a researcher will have single locus sequences, such as DNA barcodes, for a few dozen to a few hundred samples. There may also be sequences from a few additional loci, for example, and organellar locus, such as mitochondrial CO1, plus a few nuclear encoded loci. Once quality control of the chromatograms has been completed, the sequences will usually be available in FASTA format, or perhaps in other formats, such as Philip or Nexus. In these text based formats, it is possible to include metadata such as location, specimen voucher, or geographical coordinates, but it is difficult to correct these later, change their order, or sort sequences according to specific metadata. Instead, spreadsheet editors such as Calc in the Open Source LibreOffice Suite, or Apache OpenOffice, Microsoft Excel, or others offer the possibility to manage and curate sequences and their associated metadata in a universal format that is accessible also to team members who are not familiar with bioinformatics. Of course, for large sequencing projects, you may prefer to manage your sequences in dedicated databases or as part of a barcoding project in the Bold database. But even then, spreadsheets can be useful for specific analyses where you want to combine your sequences with others retrieved from GenBank. By entering your sequences into a spreadsheet, you can easily sort sequences according to different criteria, look for duplicates, that is, sequences from the same sample, and easily get an overview of samples and species that are included or missing from the dataset. Of course, you need to get the sequences into the spreadsheet first, and iTaxo Tools helps you do this. Before introducing DNA Convert, a tool that can help to get DNA sequences into spreadsheet editors, let's have a look at different table formats. Spreadsheet editors save files in various formats, such as the XML-based XLSX format in the case of Excel, or the ODS format based on the Open Document format in the case of LibreOffice or OpenOffice. These files contain additional information, such as the formatting of the text and cells of a spreadsheet, and often even contain multiple spreadsheets. This is good for saving complex and nicely formatted tables, but not for exchanging data between different programs and tools. For this purpose, it is better to use plain text formats, where the contents of different columns are separated by commas, as in the CSV format, or by tabulators, as in the TSV format. The CSV format is probably the best-known data exchange format for table-like datasets. Within a spreadsheet row, the contents of different cells are separated by commas. This is a simple and convenient convention, but already becomes a bit problematic if the text in a cell itself contains a comma. The biggest inconvenience with the CSV format, however, comes on computers running in Spanish, French, or German. Here, spreadsheets typically are full of commas, because commas, rather than periods, are used as decimal separators in numbers. Therefore, the CSV format in these languages is semicolon separated as shown in the example here. To avoid confusion, we have therefore adopted the TSV format in iTaxo tools, where the separator is a tab character. As in the CSV format, records or lines are separated by new lines, but in this case, the values within a record are separated by tabs. In spreadsheet editors, you typically have the option to save or export your data in this format. Alternatively, if you just copy your spreadsheet or a section of it from the spreadsheet editor and then paste it into a text editor, the text will automatically be tab delimited and can be saved as TSV. We recommend saving the files with the TSV extension so that they are automatically recognized by iTaxo Tools programs. Similarly, 
you can copy a tab delimited text from a text editor and paste it into a spreadsheet editor, and it will automatically be arranged in rows and columns. Now, let's look at some examples of how DNA sequences and associated metadata can be entered into spreadsheets. In many cases, researchers need to download specific sequences from GenBank to analyze them or to combine them with their own sequences. For example, a search for Coffola tree frogs in the GenBank nucleotide archive retrieves 419 sequences. We can select some of them, or we can just leave them unselected and download the entire batch and sort them later in our spreadsheet editor. For downloading, we select Send To, then we choose File, and as format, we choose GenBank. This will download a file called sequence.gb, which contains the sequences and all the associated metadata. Next, we use the tool DNA Convert, which can be downloaded from the iTaxo Tools website. For more detailed information about the features of DNA Convert, see the video tutorial focusing on this tool. We now use the Browse button to select the file we downloaded from GenBank and specify the input format as GenBank. We also specify the name of the output file with a more meaningful name, such as cophylasequences.tsv. The output format is specified as tab. Note that if the file names have the correct extensions, selecting input and output formats is not necessary. You can usually import or open the TSV file directly in your spreadsheet editor. Perhaps the most convenient alternative is to open it in a text editor, then select all text and copy it, and paste it into the spreadsheet editor. Now, you will have all metadata, such as voucher specimen or isolate numbers, GenBank accession numbers, country and locality, references, and of course the sequences themselves in a well-organized spreadsheet that you can now adjust according to your preferences. For your own sequences, you will most likely have them arranged in FASTA format, ideally with the sample numbers at the beginning of the sequence names. You can use DNA Convert to transform such a FASTA file to TSV format and then open it in a spreadsheet editor. You can then combine these sequences with the respective metadata in the spreadsheet editor. From this point on, any spreadsheet editor will offer many options for formatting or sorting the data or combining it with other data, such as the sequences downloaded from GenBank. When curating sequences in spreadsheet editors, an important caveat regards aligned sequences. So far, we have shown how to include unaligned sequences in text format into a spreadsheet. However, there may be use cases where you want to work with aligned sequences. In alignments, missing data and deletions are usually indicated by a dash character, and often there is missing data at the beginning of some of the sequences. When pasting or importing such sequences into spreadsheet editors, the first dash of a sequence might be interpreted as a minus, and consequently, the sequence will not be correctly imported. Often, the sequence will be trimmed, for example, to 256 characters, which may only be noticed at a later stage, causing a lot of extra work. A simple and effective, although not very elegant workaround, is to replace the first dash of DNA sequences with an N, which also indicates missing data. There are other workarounds, such as defining the respective cells as plain text, but the details of this will vary between spreadsheet editors. Just make sure to be aware of the potential problem to avoid losing data. The organization of sequences with metadata, including GenBank accession numbers, is an ideal format for making these data available to researchers under the FAIR principles, which stand for findable, accessible, interoperable, and reusable. We recommend that for any taxonomic publication, all raw data, sequences as well as morphological and other data, should be deposited in a permanent repository where they will obtain a DOI number that can be mentioned in the respective publication. This will allow future researchers to easily inspect and reuse the data, rather than having to reassemble it from scratch. This contributes to improving and accelerating taxonomic research. Most importantly, once your sequences are organized and curated in a spreadsheet, you can export them in TSV format, which then serves as a convenient input format for various tools in the iTaxo Tools project. For example, if you have multiple sequences per species and the species information is included in a column of your spreadsheet, you can use Taxi2 to calculate mean pairwise genetic distances between species, 
or you can use mold to infer diagnostic nucleotide positions for each of these species, or absolutely to draw haplotype networks where alleles are colored by species. If you have columns of sequences with different loci per sample, you can use concatenator to create a concatenated sequence alignment for downstream analysis. If you organize your metadata according to GenBank source modifiers, you can use DNA convert to convert the sequences into a specific FASTA file for sequence submission to the GenBank database. These various iTaxo tools programs, which accept tab delimited sequence files as input, can be downloaded from the iTaxo tools website. On the website, you can also find manuals as well as example files and links to further information. Please also consult the video tutorials, which explain the functions of these software tools.